What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365Geek, and today we're talking about Power Automate and OneNote, and we're going to look at the action which is Get Sections in Notebook. This action allows you to get the sections in a specific notebook so you can see what the titles are and see some information about it. So let's take a look at it. I'm in Power Automate here. I have a minor trigger flow because I don't need to pass any information to my actions. I just need to trigger the flow. I can click on new step and I can search OneNote here and then scroll down until I see get sections in notebook. Choose this and the only parameter it's going to ask me for is the notebook key. So here I can select which notebook I want and I'll choose my MCJ notebook because it's the one I've been using for testing so far. Uh, next we'll click on new step and we'll just throw in a compose action to just show you some of the information easier but we are going to look at the raw inputs anyway and we'll just choose section name again it's going to come back as an array and therefore it's going to put an apply to each around it and it's just going to help us out we can flip through the names so let's test this out we'll click on test i'll perform the trigger action we'll save and test uh, and we will hit run flow click done and while that's running oh it's already run it's fine uh we'll flick over to the notebook the notebook has several sections here, so we've got section one, section two, and flow section one. And each one of these has its own pages inside here, but it's the sections we're getting back in this action. If we go back to Power Automate, we can see this here and we can look at the raw outputs. Again, we've got the headers at the top, and then down here where we've got the body, we have the individual sections. So we can see that this um, this bit here is one section and then the next is the next section. This is called flow section one, so that's the first one, then section one, and then section two. So I was kind of curious by looking at this data about which order it is like it goes in. Um, so this was like created on um, the 9th, uh, created on the 20th of September, that's created on the 20th of September, and that's created on the 20th of September. Um, the one at the bottom is the oldest, maybe that's the way it works. Um, and then in terms of like last modified, uh, we've got 620, uh, yeah, you know, it's kind of, could be last modified, could be something else, but I'm not really too sure about the order of it. I'm going to do some playing around with that. Uh, we'll get some information out, we got who created the section, so if you're sharing a notebook, this is actually really useful. Um, because we can get that information out through Power Automate. So especially if you use uh, like the OneNotes that are in Dynamics 365, uh, if you're sharing OneNotes inside of SharePoint and things like that, you can use this flow to maybe get some information about those sections when they're created, when they're modified, who modified them, just to get some additional information. Um, we can get details of like the links and stuff, the size of it, um, when it's modified, when it's created, etc. To show it in a bit of a neater way, we can go back to the, that apply to each at the bottom and we can see flow section one, uh, section one and section two and see those are the three sections we have here. So yeah, so that's the way this action works. So we can specify a notebook and it'll give us those sections out. So this could be useful if you need to get details about when the sections are modified that'd be a really useful thing when they were created and who they were created by. Um, you could use this to check to see whether you have a specific section about something and then if you don't have that section maybe create it. Uh, it could be a really useful um, action and really useful use case for this. But as always I want to know what you guys use this for. So do you use this action? Do you not use this action? Do you find it useful? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, if you could like and share it with your friends, that would be appreciated. If you've not already, click that subscribe button and stay up to date on my latest videos, and I'll see you next time.